Hey, Trevor. Trevor. What are we doing? Morning, Morning everybody. Morning, Morning. Morning. All right. <laughs> You're all ready to take this to the next level. All right, so for this particular team building experiential, the agenda is going to be, from an objective, of objective standpoint, uh, let's say we're going to have four teams, all right? We're going to go through that in a second. There's going to be four different roles on each of the teams, and we may have one or two extras on each team, and that's okay. Uh, this is going to be called the Minecraft Challenge. And I will go through the roles once you've assigned your roles. I'm going to give you some handouts, and you're going to have 30 minutes to complete this exercise. So, with that said, the objectives that I've set for this particular experiential are as follows. We want to make sure that all participants at the end of this exercise are able to validate and improve on their active listening skills. We would like to have all participants be able to demonstrate team collaboration by working, to, working together on a common goal. We'd like to increase communication by strengthening an individual's ability to work on a team. We'd like to enhance critical and creative problem solving as team members as you explore different solutions to a particular problem you're faced with. And then at the very end, complete the model. Listen up, everyone. On your teams, you got two minutes. Here's what I need you to do. You need to pick your roles. All right, so what are the roles? Underneath paper bags, you can open up those sheets, go to the first page, and it should define what the roles are. You need a runner, you need a communicator, and you need a builder, and you need an observer. We also have a special role, one person, and that is the gatekeeper. And that happens to be Mr. Maxson. Mr. Maxson's going to be in a secret lair on the other side of that wall over there. And he's going to have an actual completed copy of the model that you all are going to be required to build. Okay? <laughs> Two minutes, assign your roles, and pick up a team name. Go. All right, I need team names real quick. Over here. Thank you. Over here. Team name. Team ghost. Team name. Okay, team name. There you go. All right, so here's how this is going to work. The runner. Raise your hand if you're a runner. Who's the runner? Who's the runner? Everybody. All right, so if you're the runner, in your packet on your table is your credentials. You have to carry that with you all the time, okay? Who is the observer on everybody's team? Or observers? There's a packet inside, or maybe two. Everybody that's an observer gets a packet, all right? Here's how this works. The runner is allowed to go from this room to the secret lair to see what Bill has, the gatekeeper, and they are not allowed to talk to Bill. The runner can't talk. Bill can't talk to him either. They are allowed to write down notes or maybe draw an as-built diagram. And they have to bring it back to their team and show it to the communicator. They can't talk. The communicator then explains to the builder how to put it together. Any questions? The communicator can't build. Communicator, the only person touching these Legos is the builder. All right, now, find a bag on your table that says, do not open this can. Open that bag, please. Open, open it, and take it out. This little item right here is going to get folded, and we're going to blindfold the builder. Go ahead and do that right now. Oh, that. We got 30 seconds. We're burning daylight. As you guys are doing the blindfolds, I'm going to just go over a couple of last minute things. You got a total of 20 minutes to do this. Cell phones are not allowed. If we see you with a cell phone, the cell phone is going to be taken, and you will not be allowed to participate. There are no cell phones. The people that are the observers, real quick, anybody that's an observer, we're going to ask you at the very end 
to share your information of key learning with the big group. We're, you're going to get like maybe two, three minutes for each thing. So make copious notes, and then you're going to share what you saw and observed with the big group. Agree? Right. On your marks, get set, go. Look at this man build, yeah. building yeah. Legos without without even being able to see. Look, yep. look at two browns. No skill. Yep. Um, <laughs> two, two, it's a skill set. You talk again. Listen, and then we get all the little The little one bars. <laughs> uh, the dog. Yeah. Okay, new slides. We just had. Communication from the Minecraft, and what they said was that because we're running a little late on time here, that we're going to make one exception. We're going to allow the communicator to speak to the builder as we were, and the builder can now communicate okay. to oh, the, the communicator. Okay, good, good, good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Plan view. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Set that thing uh, almost. Um, get it. Give me numbers, dude. Get it. Uh, how many over? How many up? You got. Awesome. <laughs> the drawing. I worked the drawing line at the beginning. At so the beginning, but then he ran out and got yeah, the revision drawing. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you mean, so you mean there was an RFI involved? Yes, they okay. were. Okay. How did you feel? How did you feel about the process you were doing? Well, it was really hard. Crazy. Why? Um, 
Because you can't talk and help them out. What else? Um, well, you did great. Yeah, I'm no. not arguing at all. The only thing I can say is, is him not being able to really, really, really communicate with him. Yeah. That was the hardest. But he did really good. He did he good. Wrote good. Lot, his, we we, we got it cooking at the end. He was drawn good. He was drawn good. He got the light green. You know, he had the, the, the color schemes and everything. Yeah, he did good direction. The drawings were nice, but we had to do a revision because the drawings were wrong. So we had to do RFI. Okay. Very good. 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 Definitely a master of the force over here. Let's get together. Um, Alejandro had a good drawing and the scriptures that was given, so communication is pretty good. Very good. Yeah. That's when you say Which good. Yeah. Good, great. You have good, noted great. our similar things. You see that in your daily life. Uh -huh. People over talking to me when I'm trying to convey my ideas. <laughs> How does this affect you and your colleagues? Lack of communication, no positive affirmation, shut down, no positive solution. So, so with that said, let me just put this out to the group. How, and, and let me try this just a The completion of the model was not really the ultimate goal. Does everybody realize that? Yeah. yeah. However far you got, you win. So give yourself a round of applause. Next time. The question, though, that I have for you as a group, and I just want you to thank anybody, anybody can just, you know, one at a time, obviously, but how does this tie in or relate to what we deal with at Max, whether we're on the um, accounting, purchasing, finance, product management, sales? service, how does that relate to our data? -to so I think listening is really important. You do have to listen to all the different views and ideas. You have to not take the criticism about it either. People have different opinions and views on things to be done. And if you're not going to communicate that, how do people know what, what there is, what is? So it's important to be able to listen to everyone else. And uh, I mean, everyone should be able to talk, but you should also be quiet and just listen. Excellent. Thank you. There's always gaps. I mean, there's always assumptions that are made that this is what they need. I've given them everything they need, and you turn it over, but in their eyes, they don't have it. Yeah. Well, and, and not that that was by design on yeah. this one, but that was a perfect example. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Everybody needs some Thank you. If there were any, if, if, yeah, just I'll open it up and then we're going to close this down. If there were any major key learnings, what would you, what would you say? Yeah, just any major key learnings that you can take away from this. And because this is all fun and games, right? And we're here, we're having a good time, and it's a safe environment. But how do we take this back now to our cubicle or to our office or to the job site? How, how can we? I'm going to say this because this is something that I've struggled with most of my life. Both of these things uh, is communication, constructive communication, positive, negative communication. Communication has to be, you have to have communication. Whether it's positive or negative, you have to have a way to get to communicate that to the right person. Thank you, everybody. I hope you found it valuable.